Okay, let's see what Beaver sent us today. This was supposed to be my very own vacuum chamber. I've always kind of wanted one for degassing resins and stuff. It's one of those things that I could never justify the expense, or at least I thought so. Uh, the price that they're selling these for currently is extremely reasonable in my mind. It's not something you can build super easy. Well, you can, it's easy, but uh, not cheap. Like that is one inch thick acrylic of some kind. Our vacuum pump, our vacuum chamber. Oh, it's super well packaged. I'm kind of impressed. As you guys know, I, I've been buying beaver stuff for a very, very long time. It's just recently that they approached me that they wanted to send some stuff and just let me try out. There's no plan for this other than just show it uh, in use. So we'll use it in some upcoming work. That is really thick stainless. That's nice. Glycerin filled gauge. They didn't cheap out there either. A good glycerin filled. Very nice, really nice, wow. Filter, line, seals, lines, and then our pump. So I think we'll just do this as kind of a, a first look unbox and see, see what we can tell. Wow, that's heavy. That is a cool looking pump. Pretty cool, branded, correct plug, good deal. Looks like they don't ship it with oil. And that is not enough oil in the pump. They could have included little container of oil because I certainly don't have compressor oil. I have various other lubricants but if I remember right this probably uses a special oil probably something like PAG oil or something like that. No there's nothing in there just residue from where they tested it. Good to know. Okay we'll have to get some oil and see what they recommend. Lots of specs on the different models they have. So use high speed vacuum oil specification HFV32. So I'm guessing that's a 32 weight hydraulic oil. And HFV, uh, high flow vacuum, I don't know. Look into that and see what the equivalents are. I, like hydraulic oil is not hard to come by, but I'm sure it probably has to be a special, a special oil, a special 32 weight. But I'm gonna see if I can put this together. Very cool. I, I'm really excited to have this tool in the arsenal. Like you see places like um, Adam Savage tested and stuff that is always projects using them and super cool to be able to have the option, right? So then our lid seals down on there and our gauge set up. An O-ring to there, a seal, seal. You won't need to crank this screaming tight. It'll just have to be snug. Let the seals do their job. You certainly don't want to crack the glass, the acrylic. Good. I would probably just use a wrench on yours to avoid the risk of over tightening. If you do use a ratchet like this, choke up on it pretty good because this does not need to be screaming tight. I'd say that's plenty tight enough. The washers are just, the seals are just starting to donut a little bit, uh, bulge out at the sides and not become straight anymore. They just become slightly rounded, actually very similar to the look of that. That's when you can tell you've got a seal just with a little bit of compression on it and ideally not too much. Very cool. Not much to it. Our line's going to go down on there. Now that is actually an interesting thing to note. See how that's conical shape and conical shape in the bottom there? You don't need to use Teflon tape on that. The seal is made on the conical shapes, the, the flare on these, and you don't need Teflon tape. You can use it 
but that isn't where your seal is and it if it falls back on the teflon tape then there's something wrong with your fittings on a seal like that i see online people using teflon tape all the time and that's incorrect it's it's not needed okay nothing to it tighten up our quarter inch hose clamps put them on get some oil here and we run our pump up basically turn pump on get as close to perfect vacuum as we can. I'm guessing we're probably going to get to about 27 inches of mercury or so on this and nothing to it. So you're going to have this closed, and this open, draw it down, let it do its magic in there. And then you can actually, once you're drawn down, you can seal it so that ideally the vessel should remain sealed. And then when you're done, you can just open this one up and allow atmosphere back in. Hopefully if I get to do some molds or some plastic stuff, this is about the right size for a batch. Like most things I do would be about a liter or a liter and a half. And this looks like the perfect size for me. Good deal. Actually, don't know what that is used for. If you know, put it down in the comment. I actually have no idea. Okay, it's the right size for set on the bottom. It's fiberglass by the looks of it. Interesting. I don't know. I like learning new things. Hope you guys enjoy this stuff and hope you guys enjoy learning along with me. I can't wait to use this in a project. Okay, a little less than half a liter of the premium high vacuum pump oil. Uh, got it just almost to the max mark there, so that should be just about perfect. That is expensive stuff. That's $20 a liter. What a crazy price. If you'd like to get into manufacturing but you don't have these type of equipment yet, you can have it outsourced by PCB Way. They'll do all kinds of different manufacturing for you. Just send them your design and get a quote and see how much it's going to be. They offer CNC, laser cutting, a lot of really cool 3D printing and much more. It's not just PCBs there anymore. Check out PCBWay.com. That's pretty darn respectable. That, uh, that drew that down in a rush. Holy smokes. There's a little bit of a gurgle coming from the pump and quite a bit of vapors coming out. Um, I'm guessing that's probably oil from the thing being kicked around in shipping. But there we are on our pressure vessel holding. It didn't implode. And we're holding, what are we at? About 27 and a half inches of mercury thereabouts that's pretty impressive i think we could darn near boil water at ambient temp in there uh the bottom's holding it's not it's not imploding it is noticeably bowed up there is definitely a lift on the bottom i'd say two millimeters maybe a little bit more since it drew down it was holding just fine okay should we see if we can let her go Yeah, <laughs> the bottom of the jug sunk back down. <laughs> that is cool. And how hard is it to get this off? Oh, <laughs> nothing to it. That worked beautifully. That is just wonderful. That, that does the business. Of course it should, but like this was far out of reach for the pricing for a hobbyist not that long ago. Geez, I wanna try that again. Move the pump over where you guys can see it. We'll see how much vapor comes out of it this time. Go! Did it 
occurred to me that that actually is probably moisture coming out. That's actually probably fog. <laughs> it does make a pretty good gurgle, but only once it starts to get right up there. And that is probably water coming out. That is cool. That, no problem. Down to nearly perfect vacuum in no time. That That does the business beautifully. Longevity? I don't know, but for what we need it for, for silly little hobby projects, I like it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If you've got any cool project ideas to test it out, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Cheers, guys.